Hey, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever. We are here at the transition between dusk and dawn. This could be morning or this could be evening. You really, you really haven't a clue. I am just doing a short video. Um, it's something that I always thought of doing. I thought it was pretty cool, this whole medium of video blogging and just speaking. And it's kind of interesting. Some people do it right and some people... You know they don't do it quite well but this for me is a little bit of an experiment experiment I'm gonna look and see what people say when it's done and when it's uploaded oh, my nose is it itching me anyway so that's really what it's all about is majorly fueled by Kalida who went through all of my videos and was telling me that you know Corey you should do some more so here is it this one, well, it's not really for you, Kelly. Does somewhat motivated by you, but <laughs> um, let's get in this. This one, I guess, this week so far seems like an entire week has gone past, but this is only Tuesday, is it? Yeah, it's only Tuesday though. So, anyway, <laughs> more or less, I've had a ton of conversations around the whole idea of virtual working, and I should also say we have the Wi-Fi Barbados Forum for the Barbados Entrepreneurship Foundation, which I am on the Wi-Fi team with our team leader, Melanie Jones. And we will be presenting and having discussion around the idea of creating a Wi-Fi island, Barbados Wi-Fi, um, well, the project really, because it's moving along. <coughs> Sorry. You can check out Wi-Fi Spotter. That's Wi-Fi and S P O T T R dot com. Don't not E R. And you can see the points in Barbados that are Wi-Fi. And we'll be filling it up pretty soon. Um, and obviously, you just heard announce Lime and the Barbados Chamber of Commerce. They're doing the Wi-Fi Island. Um, Wi-Fi. Sorry, not Wi-Fi Island. They're doing the Wi-Fi in Bridgetown which is a pretty large area that they're doing in Bridgetown, which more or less deals with a lot of the outskirts and obviously the heart of the city. So, what... Well, basically I had one conversation which kind of captures a lot of what has been happening, which is, you know, the whole idea that, you know, work is moving from, you know, just being in an office and happening around a core group of people and you know moving to a point where you could be connected if you really think about it the reason why companies and so on exist to some extent is because back in the old days the only way to collaborate and to work together on a project was to be physically in the same place as as the other person but more and more we're working virtually I mean even the average employee is still working virtually if it's not for the company is working on projects um, I'm sure if they're part of any clubs there are a lot of emails back and forth a lot of conversations sometimes and for the more advanced they're sitting working on Google documents and putting things together real time from wherever they are um, you know we're all busy people and we try to make the most of it so I, I just kind of wanted to make that point because sometimes people seem to think that this whole virtual working thing is just you know, like a hocus pocus like whoa but when you think about it if you sit at home and you're responding to an email train while you're sick or whatever the case is because somebody sent it to your personal address and you forward them, them back the information essentially that is that's kind of like work isn't it so it <laughs> In a sense, we're all doing it now. I think the big thing is how much of it we can do. How, 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 how much of the company's operations you can do. And I won't get into it right now, but let me choose one. You could do human resources, project management. You could, you could, sorry, you could virtualize these functions. I mean, you could virtualize some of these things. Um, well, let's talk about project management. I personally like 37 signals on Basecamp. Just Google 37 signals and hook up to Basecamp. I think it's fantastic for managing teams. You know, somebody 
the project manager could put together the milestones, you know, the points, this is where we want to get to. And then they put together the tasks for people to do to assign it. And then you just log in and you select your name and you can select by the day so you can see what you have to do today and then you just get on with it you know a lot of times depending on the stuff that you're doing you don't need to do and then if you can make a call and discuss with somebody you could you could make it happen i mean for me personally a lot of people laugh but i live in the north of the island which is a little distance away from the rest of the island and there are a lot of things that i do or i work with people that you know like <laughs> i just never have to see them so I just never make the effort to see them I just simply do it or organize it from up here or whatever and make sure everything is together and then if it's related to an event the only time I ever see any of the people involved in the event is the day of the event at the appointed time that we decided to arrive and so that that is I'm kind of rambling and I but right so back base camp is a fantastic tool I mean, coming off of that, you have, uh, let's say, I, I'm, I'm becoming very fond of Batch Book, which is basically a CRM that will allow you a customer relations management tool that will allow you to track your conversations with various people. And I mean, it, it could almost become like your secretary in a sense because uh, when you send emails and stuff you could e easily copy it to batch but so that you could keep a, a trail of what is going on um, and you could well there's so much that I could do it could actually integrate with say for example a scheduling tool where you could go click on a team member and you could see which time is available and you could just book a meeting for that time so there's no need for let's say for those high level um, CEOs this will be for well high, high level executives sorry, who have a secretary um, there's no reason for them to essentially go through their secretary they could just click look at the time that's available and go you know so there are a lot of these little tools that are really changing the way that we do business and just be able to be on the internet is 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 huge and I think the key thing the key driver for it is that some of these things will cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for um, a company to install it but now with the idea of the cloud where for example well let's use Google for example before to host your own mail server it will be thousands of dollars and so on um, Exchange Server, Microsoft Exchange Server for example, but essentially now with the cloud, which will be similar to Google, you could go set up the same exact thing and Google offers it for free or like for 50 US a year, you just pay, you pay for what you use and you have, the, you, you basically have almost all the same features as if you have paid thousands and thousands of dollars to set up your own mail server and then also upkeep it and there is that for several services I mean you would have had to have your own mail server to for example host a, a project management tool that's integrated with everybody with something with like Basecamp you pay them I mean according to your usage you could, it could be free you could pay them like $12 a month $24 a month and you just manage your project from there so it is very important um, the virtualization of work is a very, 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 very real thing. And I also attended a webinar online today, which will be like a seminar essentially. And they were talking about virtual leadership. And I mean, there wasn't anything new really. It was like all the same things, things like have a standing meeting, you know, coach people. I thought one very critical point was don't delegate too quickly. You know, give people a chance to shine and so on. And, well, sorry, teach them and so on. And then allow them to shine. If you delegate too quickly, you can actually demoralize them. Um, the only, I think the the only thing I thought that was really directly related to it being a virtual function was the idea of having a working agenda um, instead of just having a meeting where everybody talks, but have a document that everybody could see 
and you just update it real time as people talk and he said that's a way to, that pe people keep engaged and they, you could really have a fruitful meeting from there and I could tell you that is I've never used that but I will be using it because I find when I'm talking to people and we're updating the Google Docs um, it is amazing everybody kind of stays focused and you know it gets done so that is me trying something speaking about the life of a virtual worker got big up to Martin J um, he just booked to come down for crop over yeah I mean it ain't all about work it's it could play to crop over of course is Barbados is carnival which is happening in the first week of August but pretty much June and July is all filled with parties we love to party and yeah just come down look out for Brewster's Road and some other things that I might be involved in. I can see you later. Cool? Alright, we out. It again dark anyway. So that means that it got to be the transition tonight. Alright, Corey Grand 2.0. I'm out. Bye.